Let's balance the equation for ZNS plus ALP. This is zinc sulfide and this is aluminum phosphide. We'll also look at the type of reaction and the states. So let's look at the type of reaction. We can see that the zinc and the aluminum, they're switching places. So the zinc, instead of the sulfur, the zinc is with the phosphorus. We have zinc phosphide here. The aluminum, instead of the phosphorus, aluminum is with the sulfur, aluminum sulfide. So double displacement reaction, also called a double replacement reaction. Let's balance it. One zinc, one sulfur, one aluminum, and one phosphorus atom in the reactants. In the products, we have the three zinc, three sulfur, two aluminum, and then two phosphorus atoms. Why don't we put a three in front of the zinc? This three goes to everything, so one times three, that'll give us three of the zinc atoms. They're balanced, the one times the three. That gives us three sulfur atoms. And then for the aluminum and the phosphorus, we'll put a coefficient of two. One times two, that'll give us two of those. One times two, two of those. They're balanced, we're done. This equation is balanced. If you wanted to write the states for this reaction, that would look like this. My guess is that you would need to heat this up, heat these two reactants here up, in order for this reaction to take place. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for ZNS plus ALP and the type of reaction, which is a double displacement. Thanks for watching.